you're a dick capture function. Anyways, back to the horror. Um, you know how uh, when if a person's been drowned and they come back to life in a horror movie, they just have gunky stuff around their eyes and everything? That's kind of what it looks like when you get jump scared by that lady in PT. These, this coal, it seems like it's going to lead me to diamond. I know. Oh. I want diamond. Yeah. Give me diamond. If you don't give me diamond, I'm gonna smack you in the face with an avocado. I'll come back to that later. Okay. The, I, I am digging down deep. Okay, I better stick uh, just to the right side because I opened up a little path. My pickaxe broke again. Man, imagine like using the wooden tools in this. Um, you just strike stone with a wooden pickaxe and it just breaks off and the shard just hits you in the eye oh imagine if that was actually a function like when the wooden the wooden tools break or if any tool breaks the shards hurt you that would be a crappy feature but it would be pretty decent as well because it would like be realistic like, uh, usually when something breaks, it'll give off some shards or something or other. And, um, usually when those shards hit you, they sting. And, uh, I remember uh, when I was working, I worked up in a blueberry field. And I had a whippersnipper, a weed whacker, or, or whatever you want to call it. I got myself one of those, and they told me to go up into the field and snip away all the goldenrod and other um, other plants around the blueberries so people don't the pickers so they don't have to you know maneuver them maneuver their way around them or crunch all over them or um step into the goldenrod and step on the berries cuz you know when you're working in a blueberry business blueberries are valuable and so, if you step on blueberries, you step on money. Anyways, um, back when I was working up there, I would have a whippersnipper and a bunch of my other co-workers would usually... It, um, one of them was my friend Sheldon, and another dude was a dude named Bert, who I worked with most up in the fields. And um, we would get up there, and we would whippersnip the hell out of everything. We did a pretty good job of... Um, first couple of days, um, we almost got the entire field. One of the entire fields, um, we got... Crap, it, it's hard to remember. This was back, uh, during summer vacation 2014. Uh, we covered a good amount of the field in one day. Let's just say that. And a lot of the stuff, um, it broke nice and easy. But there's this one time, like, the couple of times where you just drive your whippersnipper into, like, some sticks, some dry sticks. And the shards of sticks and splinters, they just go everywhere. And I spent, I'm not, I'm not sure how long I spent, um, searching out splinters on my arm and just digging them out. It sucked. And I also got a sunburn on the back of my hand. I was wearing a sweater at the time to avoid sunburn. And that's how I got sunburn on the back of my hands and nowhere else. Uh, you know, um... I would work 12 hours. 12 hours up there, I would get up early during the summer vacation which would make me a little which would make anyone a little bit cranky 
and um, you work over there for 12 hours, say you wake up at 9, I'm out of pickaxes, anyway, say you wake up at 9 and you head over there and you work for 12 hours, that'll um, bring you all the way to 12 at night, 12 sorry, 9 at night, and you have heavy lifting, you snip away things like old, like these thick ass branches, and just whippersnip goldenrod away from blueberries. Uh, yeah, I made a, a decent amount of money off of it, around $800 all the time I worked there. I didn't work there for long, maybe like... Uh, two and a half weeks, maybe. I made $800, and the wage up there is around... $12 an hour, and if you work for 12 hours up there, then that would make, make you around $120 per day. And I remember I told my mom, uh, I made more money in one day than I have in my entire life. Because, um, only up until last year, summer, I never had a job. I never did. But, uh, God, when it comes to working at anything, really, it's not my strong suit. But, like, um, like, when it comes to stuff like school or whippersnipping, like, I'll get the whippersnipping done, but when it comes to school, like, math and everything, if I'm not interested, I'll just gaze away. That's it, I'll just gaze away. It's kind of out of my control. But, uh... God, I remember, uh... It took me around... Last year, um, when I was in elementary school, it took me around two weeks to complete a couple of pages because um, I didn't really know how to do it. Like, it was this really math crap we learned about mean, median, and mode. We were just getting into a little bit of algebra. And this was a couple of pages of work. And I never, and I never did it for around two weeks. Partly because I didn't know how, and another part because I wasn't interested. But now, when it comes to working, I'm interested in drawing, animation, and design. And that is what I want to do. I want to, like, get myself these little projects like they have in Rooster Teeth of some sorts. They made a game. They have uh, an animated series, Ruby, and they're making a freaking movie. It would be cool to work at a place like Rooster Teeth. God, I just mentioned Ruby and I just remembered Monty. Damn. It sucks that a, a nice animator, a nice person like Monty died. I'm not going to get too into it. No, I'm not going to talk about it. But, uh... Yeah, animation design, that's one of the, that's one of my goals, like, in life. I want to become an animator, maybe make some games, so I'm going to have to get into digital or graphic design. It's going to be a lot of stuff, but I heard that you can make a decent bit of money off of it and have fun doing it. I'm going to need a lot of practice when it comes to drawing, though. Um, I actually looked up how to draw manga or manga whatever however you want to pronounce it the comics from Japan and um, looks it actually looks pretty easy um, one of my friends uh, Cheyenne she is boss at drawing and she can draw like manga type drawings at least that's what I describe them as and she is really good at it. She can draw the head, the neck, and the shoulders, and dresses. She can do really good dresses. 
And um, every time I see them, I was like, every time I see her drawings, I'm like, wow, that is what I want to do. That's the skill I want to have. But instead of working on those skills, I'm playing Minecraft. <laughs> you know what? Uh, it's almost 7:30. You know, that got me. That got me talking and thinking about dreams and stuff. And since uh, I'm not gonna upload another video until maybe tomorrow, that and that will be that video. I think I'm just gonna leave this here. I did a decent amount. I got some iron, lots of coal, and I made some armor, and I found a sapling. It looks like broccoli or leek or whatever. Get out of bed or I'll smack you with a green onion. Anyways, I hope you had a decent amount. I hope you were at least mildly entertained by my shenanigans. And maybe you can relate to my topics that I've talked about. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Like and favorite if you enjoyed. And my name is Mr. Majestic. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, later.